Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so it's Monday, we're in the Airbnb. We've spent a very cosy night and a nice slow morning here, basically waiting for the rain to stop because yet again it's still raining, but apparently the weather is looking up for the rest of the day. While it's not going to be bright sunshine, it will be better, drier. So we're going to go to somewhere called Lozzy Mouth, which is nearby and apparently it's like lovely coastal beaches, stuff like that. Um, so we're just going to go and have a little adventure. Then we'll be coming back here tonight to stay one more night before we head off back out in the van. Um, so yeah, come along with us. We'll see what we can find. So we've just arrived. Only a 20 minute drive from where we're staying to Lozzy Mouth. We're just about to walk over a nice bridge. And we've got white sand, grey water at present because it's grey but it looks like a really lovely beach and there's a lot of wave action today so let's go and uh, get a bit closer and see what we can see see what we can find So we're currently on some sand dunes it looks like. We've got a little bit of like an estuary rivery bit on this side and then on this side we've got the sea. The river Loz, <laughs> hence Lozzy Mouth. But we're just uh, walking along the sand here because as you know uh, dune systems are incredibly rich of wildlife and uh, we've already seen a heron, there's lots of seabirds She's got his eye on something, but I bet you it's a hog. what a bit of rain can do to my mood. We are just heading back in the direction of our Airbnb and uh, she wanted to pull over somewhere near the River Spey so that we could look for ospreys or other birds of prey or any other wildlife that might be nearby. So we just pulled over in a lay-by because that's a benefit of Scotland, there's a lot of them. So you can kind of just pull over wherever, nine times out of ten, for free and go look for some nature. So we're just having a walk down this path, this little wooded area, and just see if we can find anything. But I've got this horrible feeling, I'm getting a cold. So I had COVID last week and now I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. So I'm just having the best luck at the moment. But hopefully we get back to the hostel, uh, the, uh, keep calling it a hostel, I don't know why. <laughs> get back to the Airbnb and have a nice warm shower, snuggle up before we're back out on the road tomorrow. found a little spot on the River Spey and we spent a few minutes just looking out. Stu's got his binoculars. But it's so cold, like it feels like autumn and it's July. <laughs> yeah, you, 
could, yeah, I don't know. I'm just cold and I don't feel very well. So we're going to go back and snuggle up in the Airbnb, get our money's worth because we're kicked out at 11 tomorrow and then we're back on campsites and living in the van. So we're going to head back, have a glass of wine, snuggle up. And I might give you a little tour of the Airbnb. We'll see. Good morning, everybody. So it's a new day and we've just been packing up in the Airbnb ready to go, but I thought I'd just give you a quick little tour of it before we leave. It's a really nice little spot. If you're in this area, um, I can't pronounce where we are, so I'll put it here in text somewhere. But let's just have a quick little look around before we get in the van again and head on to Inverness. So it's just one room, but we've got a piano, television, speaker, nice little sofa. That sofa's really comfy. This chest has got a load of toys and games in it. Table, nice little kitchen, bits and bobs. Really comfy bed. We had the fan we were using that to dry our clothes. And just a really nice furnished toilet. And that shower's really good as well. Yeah, it's quite a small place and it doesn't take long to explore it, but it's really nice. So um, I'll put the title of the place or the link to the Airbnb in the description box so you can check it out if you're coming this way. But without further ado, we're going to go and find some dolphins. We're en route to um, Inverness. We've stopped off about 30 minutes down the road from where we started um, at Findhorn Beach or Findhorn Beach. Please let me know which way to pronounce it. But um, we're on the coast and there's, looks like dunes actually. Um, we're going to go and see uh, hopefully some seals because apparently there's lots of seals around here. Just found a dead gannet. This is one of our favourite birds in the UK. Unfortunately, he's obviously dead. And we'll not, we won't be able to find out how, but look how big it is. It's really sad. I love gannets. But actually, the couple of beaches we've been on, we've seen loads of dead birds. Like loads of dead seagulls. Actually found a dead guillemot and now a gannet. What's going on? down the beach a bit and uh, we're watching seals from the shore and then I spotted the uh, RNLI and he's, they've actually come out to rescue someone who's kind of banked uh, in, a, in a yacht or a sailboat and they've been trying to tow it for a while to no avail so they've just had to uh, bring the guy on board and they're taking him away to safety but I filmed it all but it just makes you think you know we're really lucky in the UK that we've got charities like the RNLI looking out for us really on the water but thankfully this guy's safe he's with the very capable hands of the RNLI they're gonna bring him in and we can carry on watching our seals what the bloody hell's that up there shining all nice and warm hang on a minute is that the Sun I literally cannot believe that I am feeling sunshine right now I couldn't be happier about it, but in no way am I going to risk 
it going away by taking my coat off. That's like jinxing it. So the raincoat stays on. Another dead bird. So it's, this time it's a guillemot. Really hope that these birds haven't succumbed to bird flu. We're back at the van now, back at the car park, and the sun is shining. So we're gonna get the old gas stove on and make ourselves a coffee, chill for a little bit, and then we'll start heading towards Inverness. We've arrived back in Inverness at our campsite called Ard Tower and it's got some pretty epic views from here. Got the lovely highlands in the background and the river. And we're just going to chill, have a cup of soup, um, just relax for a bit and then we're going to head over to find these Murray, Murray Firth dolphins because um, there's specific times that you're more likely to see them so we want to make sure that we're definitely going to see them. We'll just spend a couple of hours there, I suppose, and then come back chill. And then tomorrow going to be a full on dolphin day, I'd say. of globally famous for bottlenose dolphin sightings because the water here is so deep that these huge four meter long bottlenose dolphins can actually swim really close to the beach and they fill up on salmon that's why they get so big so we've come here with the camera and it's um, nearing 5 p.m. and apparently uh, an hour after low tide, I think someone said, was a really good time to see them. So we're hoping that they will arrive imminently and we will be graced with their gorgeous presence. Uh, swimming around, eating salmon and giving us a good show. After an hour of waiting, the dolphins arrived and they came in so close and they're so big. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but they reach four meters. They're the world's largest bottlenose dolphins. Biggest bottlenoses in the world. So yeah, I'm really happy because I got some really nice footage and they come in so close that it's not too much of a mission to film them because this camera can be pretty shaky the further you zoom out because it's a compact. So, But they are absolutely epic, really beautiful. And there was one with some really interesting markings, really pale um, kind of dorsal region. And I don't know whether that's birthmark, skin condition, just colouring, God knows. But yeah, I'm going to input the epic bottlenose dolphin footage here.
Well guys, we're back at the campsite, sat, it's dry. Now I don't want to jinx it, but this is very exciting. Sat outside and it's dry. Enjoying a glass of Prosecco. Just had a cheeky little curry. Got our citronella incense burning to protect Stu from further midgy attacks. You can see my face is covered in them. And uh, we're just going to chill, I think. And then more epic dolphins tomorrow. <laughs>